Welcome guys to another video of Pixel Gun 3D, but for this video we're going to be starting off a secondary Let's Play in a way series where we are going to be playing and doing some clan challenges. Now these will occur starting from Tuesday and I will pick Thursday, maybe some other days for uploading the video, but I will guarantee upload a clan, a, like some sort of clan war video on Tuesday, like the clan business. Now I just made up the name, you guys can check out what it is. I will call it the clan business, the clan business series where I will be doing all of the clan stuff where you guys will also experience how it is for me to try to deal with the challenges as I'm also doing uh, the shopping man to try to clear the shop. Now we have the lottery right here, we have the Dynasty P Armory Lottery that can provide me some weapons that will reduce the cost. Now actually I've already gotten the stuff I needed. I'm, let, let me see in the super chest. Yeah, I actually gotten the stuff I needed. So if I get coins, that's still good because then I can buy some more weapons down here that will actually be pretty beneficial for my part. I'm trying to clear everything. I know that we still have some weapons that are less than a thousand, but when we reach the weapons that only cost a thousand, that's where the big shot starts and that's when we're gonna be grinding that much until we can actually get the weapons. So we, from the Monday video, we've seen that the clans weren't doing that particularly well. Now we have a new set with a seemingly on the good lead, which I'm happy about. Because uh, the other clans are actually, yeah, the second place clan has actually tried to cover some part. They actually tried to reach the zone number one. While we have taken it more calm and just taken our perimeter and only start to take the rocks eventually. Now, we'll, we'll t we will be taking the rocks right now. We will try to be taking the rocks as well as these pe as well as these things because these middle areas are still good for, for my gathering. But I still mainly take the rocks. I will go at full force with the clan on Fridays. But I will as well do some random let's plays and also other pixel gun stuff that I want to cover up for you guys. I still have some reviews. I still have something to discuss about the game that will be coming out. I'm still planning to do tweaks to my videos so that you guys will experience my videos a little bit more, more better. A little bit more vivid and a little bit more Boston Modern in the way I see it in the Boston Modern 2020 career. Either way. Either way, though, let me check out which challenges I want to do, bro. We have, we have those win four matches, three matches, and win four matches. Kill 25 enemies with a headshot. And only win matches. Eliminate seven opponents. Eliminate 45. Eliminate 25 pets with primary. Eliminate 20 opponents. I think I want to do the night pool. And then I see if I want to do another field that I want to take for you guys. This is all for showing a little bit part of the progress of the clan so far. Reporting the clan progress and also sending a leader's message via YouTube to you guys who might be in the clan. So if you guys want to join my clan and try to conquer the field that we're currently playing in right now. I'll be providing you the clan ID in the screenshot right there. It's not a screenshot, it's just a little bit cut piece. So that you can see the clan is named this and this and that. And the name, no, I mean the ID is that. And I'll also be providing that ID in the description, also in the comment section, so that you guys can be joining the clan as well. Without anything further to say, I think we should be start doing some clan missions. Day number one, the beginning game. Let's see how it goes with the doodles. We gotta eliminate twelve opponents. Let's see if we can find some suitable man right now. Catch you guys in the battlefield. First duel competitive. Competitor is an RJ'er, and I still one-shot him though. Wow, man, I actually got him RJ killed. What is this? Oh, that's his stuff. But will I get 12 kills though? I might be, you never know. It was gonna end up its parameter, so that, oh. His strength is range, I have to keep that in mind. His strength is range, so I may have a little bit problem, because uh, if only me get close to him, if only I get close to him, that might be him having a little bit more problems than if he was having more range. So I'm just gonna try to end myself in a little bit far less range so that we put ourselves in a close by situation and have to test our close by aiming skills. There we go. I whack him. We have 6 out of 12, I think, because we were supposed to take 12, right? Yeah, I think it was. Now the duels only last 12, no, 2 minutes. So I have to take the precautions I have to take. And I actually hope that I actually get enough kills. Maybe we can do it with one battle. You never know. That's eight. We need four more, I think. Four more. Can we do it? 
Is this guy gonna shot? If he's scouting, then I'm just gonna kill him. I got him. Alright, can we make three kills? That's the question. Oh, there he is right now. That's two more, that's two more, guys, that's two more. Two more! I'm just gonna be that wimpy today. Just gonna pick you up with the ultimatum as you rocket jumping. Wow, you actually jumped up this time. There we go. I think we should be making it. Yeah, we made it. Nice. We made it with one game. So that means we can do some other tasks in the meantime for you guys to talk about. Now, let's talk about the future of the boss mod anyway. So yeah, I was planning to do some more squad videos because we haven't had that for a very long time. We didn't. Wow, 14 to 2. That's actually kind of whacking in the way of the manner. GG. It can also mean get good, you never know what it means, but it mainly means GG, I think. Eliminate 12 opponents, well that was sure a breeze. Fortunately, I could have ended up playing two more games if the opponent turned out to create some little bit more difficult for me and that I get a little bit less kills and we end up in an even game, but I can't pass the 10 so I have to play it again. That could have been happening, but instead, he was rocket jumping, I was kept, I kept picking him up, and even if he was successfully ro ro rocket jumping into the roof, I was still able to take him out with the, my own tactics. I tried to focus and aim well at him. Now, let's try to pick another another field that I want to take and I'll explain to you guys what it is. The second field I tried to take today is eliminating 45 opponents within one game. I sure know that I can do that with my deadly, deadly skills. With my deadly, deadly skills and knowledge about the game. But it might not be that easy against these kinds of players. You never know. And I feel like we only... Yeah, we're only three players. Oh, the god dang it, man. Maybe we have to play another game. You never know. I circumnavigated it. I went through him and shot him. Th that's how it worked. Oh, I thought I could kill him. Dang it. Alright. You are right there. And you lag. And I picked you up. And you also somehow managed to kill me in the lag. Where are you? I'll pick you up. Oh. That would be wonderful, he would be like, what is going on? If I was actually going to kill him with the Heart of Volcano, I just hope for that shot to land. But it didn't land. Oh, that was the last word. He missed. Someone third party me down. That's not good. And I still kill him with the fire. He didn't get the kill. And I still can't hit him. Now I hit him. I <laughs> still can't hit him and now I can hit him. Great way to try to lead to lead the spirit where are you guys I may as well have to join a public lobby because killing each other because they're in the same clan I know they're in the same clan so killing each other won't help I don't think so at least because they only have me to target so I can clearly see what's gonna happen with this game they're only gonna try to take me out because I'm from a different clan but then I have two from different clans that I can kill so it becomes more like a so it becomes more like an advantage for me rather than for them. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you can kill each other to get points because that shouldn't really be allowed to be fair. Because that would make that would make them only go for each other and just stack up the kills. But they won't get as much points as they would do singularly killing everyone else in the deathmatch. Well, needless to say, I think we should actually try to get join a different lobby. That has a lot more people in it, that's a lot more people to kill, because I face like these rather a little bit more difficult players to deal with. And it's only a few, so I definitely know that I will have to bring another game, and that might be a little bit it for the short starter video of the clan business series that I'll be doing. A, a side let's play, but it's me doing the clan stuff and talking about what's going on with the development of the clan war. Are you still right there? Why? How about I do this, dude? The unnatural reaction came with a shuriken. <laughs> Funny, dude. Oh, I see you, I see you. Can I take all of you? Can I take all of you? I took all of you inside the lag. Wow, man. That was actually weird because... I mean, I actually thought that they would possibly kill each other. But that turns out that we actually managed to kill all of them, gather them up, and that will be the last kills that we have to make for the secondary battle. Now, we made 18 out of 45. I think I still should try to change the map into a public into a public server instead of actually joining Vidya Clan. So, I'll do that in a ka -ching. 
Let's see. Yeah, there are more people down there. Come on, man. There are more people down there. There are more people down there. Come on, man. I actually thought I got both them killed because the chain damage. The chain damage can always help me a little bit with getting them killed. But then I could have just changed my weapon into the Cyrax Net, aka the way, way Pulser, which one shots in most cases. One shots players in most cases. But I have a pull up delay by default as a disadvantage for my part. Is it only me and these? Is it only me and these two guys? I really wonder right now. I got him. Wait, 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 wait! You using that good old weapon right there, mate? Man, that sure had a deadly reputation before, but I don't think it's getting as much attention as it does before, as it did before. Not longer. See, some some weapons are like kind of legend, and some. Legend like because a lot of players like to use the weapon and Some some weapons just had like a good reputation before like in the older days and now it just uh, gets uh, way way less attention until no, uh, almost zero attention in today's pixel gun gaming gaming community That's how it might work. You know it happens It will happen some weapons might just end their reputation. Some weapons might just... Oh, there you are. You still like a stick, mate. Come on, move. Move your feet. You stand like a stick. You're moving. You got to move. Stand like a stick because you think that's going to be proper order of the sniper. That's only the basics. That's so limited. You're standing behind me, aren't you? No, you're actually moving. Finally, man. I was kind of worried that you were just only going to stand like a stick and only fire at me with that Impulse Sniper. Impulse Sniper actually had a really deadly reputation before. As I said, some weapons had a good reputation before, while they eventually start to get less and less attention over the course of time until today it's Pixel Gun 3D weapon selection by the community. Got you killed. Got you killed. Got you killed. Yeah, that made it all. Come on, man. That made it all. We made it. Like, come on. I literally just wanted to join this server. I feel like it's better to join a public server during the during the challenges than actually join via the clans. Because not it's not always that via the clans you will get to face many people because you're joining through a clan and the developers are making a server from there. That's how I have learned it by the system. Now, the developers mentioned that they were going to be doing some change, and now I'm not entirely sure what that particular kind of change is. But I haven't really seen it for myself yet. I've yet to know what that change is, because they were going to say they have made some change that will make the clan war even more exciting and intriguing. Well, best get to know what that is real soon. I got a melee. Haven't got some melees. Should have slapped people more. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Starting to use more melee. Starting to use more melee when it's actually pretty good to use it. Because it lets me continue the combo string. Now I actually got a lineup shot out there. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Got myself some lineup. For my own good. You thought you got away, mate? You really thought you got away, dude? You fought so, man. You fought so. Then you died. You died this time. You died. Alright, you know what? I think that's going to be it for the starter video right here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, we did finish eliminate 45 opponents. Which is just another step forward. Into making a clan. Having a good clan. Alright, I, I think I'll take it here. Because my mama interrupted me. Just gotta come in and not expect me. I, I literally have to hang a sign outside to tell if I'm doing YouTube or not. Because uh, I can't just continue do doing it like this. I, I literally want to sit down and record. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video right here. And I hope you guys did enjoy the starter, the starting series of the clan business. I'll mark it with a future impact as you already have seen right there as you're watching the video. And other than that, our current progress right now is promising. We have a promising start. We're doing the tactic that we'd like to do. Just to try to take control of our own perimeter, which is this area. If we take from, if we say this is the edge and uh, this is the rocks that surround our area. 
and then everything within this is our parameter. That's called our parameter. That's what we mean our parameter. Our little area shows a specific area that we're talking about. Our parameter is this area. This, if we take the coordinates from, if we take the area of this to this and to this, this is our area. And this, this, and this, you now from this field to this field to this space right here is the third place clan's area, which is the neighboring area, the neighboring perimeters. So we will try to take the neighboring perimeters after we take the middle, and we also might interfere with the second place clan, but we still have a very strong start. We have a very strong start, and that's really good for our own for our own approach with this war. We just gotta take our own perimeter, and then we continue developing into taking neighboring perimeters, and then go on and do Pac-Man. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing Pac-Man. Basically, what this means is we're starting with our own perimeter as a pizza slice, and then we try to take neighboring perimeters. That would be one tactic because actually, I want to take all the rocks. But what we're doing is we're trying to take. Now, it would be silly for me to talk it right now. I'm being repeating myself, but still, we're taking our perimeter. We're taking neighboring perimeters, and then we start taking theirs. The neighbors neighboring perimeters until we take the middle clan. That's the Pac-Man tactic. Or we take our perimeter, take a little bit of the neighboring perimeters to keep control from any other neighboring attacks and start taking the rocks and then case them in. So that we so that this way we try to motivate the players in our clan to try to take the insides because when we have done the harder tasks, when when we cooperate to do the harder tasks, then we start to do the easier tasks. But of course, you may have to try to take the clans that might start intersecting here and there. It depends on the clans activity, but that's going to be it. I'm not going to be talking more, and I hope you guys are looking forward to more of these clan clan business videos where I'll be doing clan leadership, like, I mean, clan leader discussion, like, talk message about what is actually going on with the clan is it going good is it going well are the other clans are the members of the clans even doing good efforts that's up to them but for now guys I hope you guys will have, have a great day out there stay tuned for more videos like this one and keep killing keep shooting keep winning and keep your and keep your clans glorious as this one other than that if you guys want to join I provided the stuff down below in the description and the comment section. Bye bye.